Hi guys, Brendan from Brendan Tech Talk. I have been often asked about the storage issues with the iPhone. There are many times that you'll find that the memory full message comes up or memory low message comes up. We can do certain settings on the iPhone and certain things which would actually prevent this uh, message from popping up. Let's see what we can do. Let's check the storage first. We go to settings and then we go to general and after that on phone storage this will exactly show you what applications are using how much memory like in my case my photos is using 25 GB of memory and WhatsApp is using 10.11 GB and iMovies is using 8.71 GB so all the applications that you have uh, this area actually shows how much memory that application is actually using that is actually the size of the application plus the data that the application is using let's go to photos first in my case i'm using about 26834 photos are there and 2084 videos i don't know maybe some people might actually do more than that but most people will not be taking so many photographs or videos and keeping them on the phone so the first thing that you need to do is go through your photos app and see if you can get rid of the photos and videos which are either duplicate or which are similar so in this case i'll tap on select and i tap on these two and then tap on the bin and delete two photos in this way you just clean up your photos album that is the first thing you will need to do the second thing which uh, you should do uh, about the photos is i strongly suggest you use icloud for syncing so for that again go to settings and then you go to photos and photos the first thing you must do is icloud photos make them actually sync with your iCloud account uh, 5 GB is free uh, but uh, I strongly suggest you just pay a little bit like 100 GB is for less than 3 US dollars or uh, Indian 200 rupees so that's not much actually but uh, it will be of great help to you so I suggest you subscribe to or buy a little bit of extra space uh, maybe 200 GB should be good enough and then you can sync all your photos with the iCloud so most of the whenever your memory goes a little low uh, the photos the full resolution photos will go into your iCloud and the low resolution photos will stay in your phone so your memory or storage on iPhone should be quite all right the uh, software iOS software will do that by itself so I strongly recommend uh, getting more iCloud storage and using it for your iPhone in case you do not want to use it uh, if you do not want to use iCloud you can actually use uh, Google Photos and Google will actually give you 15 GB of free space and you can sync your Google Photos uh, application with your iPhone photos uh, that way whenever you take a photograph it will go into your Google Photos and then you remove it from manually remove it from your uh, photos library but it will be in your google photos so that is another way to do it but for me that's not a good option uh, though i do, do have uh, google photos and that acts like my secondary uh, storage space uh, so i have both my photographs and videos on my icloud as well as on my google photos so that is what i have done I'll leave it to you what to do the next thing that you need to do is set up something called offload application there will be plenty of applications that you have downloaded but you occasionally or hardly ever use them so what you do is you go to settings you go to app store and set up offload unused apps what that will do is the apps that you infrequently use or hardly ever use they'll be removed from your phone but your data etc is safe 
So in case you want to reinstall it at some stage, uh, you can reinstall and the data will still be there. So that is a very good option and I think uh, even if you do not have storage issues, this should be done. This is what I have done and that is a good management strategy. Do that. Uh, that will also actually save a lot of uh, storage space on your iPhone. So these are some of the recommendations that I make. So to summarize, first of all, uh, get rid of your duplicates, get rid of your similar photos, uh, get rid of uh, videos and photos that you do not need. Uh, the second one is uh, get extra iCloud storage. If you do not want that, you can get uh, Google Photos and uh, Google Storage or Google Drive. And of course, number four is use app offloading. That means you offload the application that you hardly ever use. I hope this helps. Take care. If you have any comments, please do uh, leave the comments. If you have any suggestions, uh, tell me how you do it. If you like the video, please do click on the like button and subscribe if you still haven't. Bye bye. Take care.